Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about real-world math ideas using estimation. Now, oftentimes, if you don't have a calculator with you, you can always kind of estimate uh, to kind of give you a rough idea as to what the real measurement happens to be. So one field that you might want to use estimation on a regular basis is that of money. So you can kind of roughly figure out how much it might cost or what your total bill is going to be. So in shopping, for example, you might see oftentimes three, four, ten dollars. That kind of gives you an idea that, well, per item it's going to cost a little more um, than three dollars. So it kind of gives you an idea as to how to uh, budget. Now, something else to consider is that of measurement. Now, you know the idea that one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. However, you can kind of estimate by just saying one inch is a little more than two and a half centimeters. So it kind of gives you an idea as to what kind of room you have to uh, work with. And then in geometry, if you are kind of surveying, kind of trying to figure out the angle from one end to another, it might, you might want to kind of estimate the kind of angle or uh, theta that you have. You can say roughly 35 degrees or 45, you know, thereabouts. Again, using fairly approachable numbers as opposed to really technical uh, ones. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and those are a few illustrations on real-world real math ideas using estimation.